1980, Jonathan had just done Dark Reflection, which was his senior project film, and he asked me to score it. I was just graduating myself from Boston Conservatory, and we wound up using the Ithaca Symphony Orchestra as the, the music score orchestra. He created the film and I created not just the music, but a system for film scoring because I didn't, I didn't know how one took an orchestra and ascribed it to meet the frame demands of a film. And then that film got shown at the new school with Donald Spoto. Spoto was a, an incredible thing for us because uh, all through high school, Alfred Hitchcock was a I don't know how to say it, an icon, a mentor, a uh, someone that we admired very much. I mean, we considered him to be the pinnacle of filmmakers. And I, I even referred to Jonathan Heap a lot of times as uh, Jonathan Heapcock. His ambition to, to learn in the ways of Alfred Hitchcock, and I think his first film, Dark Reflection, was just like that. We wound up doing a screening at the New School, which Donald Spoto was the guy that was in back of this whole thing. Somehow he saw Jonathan's Dark Reflection film and my score. And he went up and he introduced uh, to the crowd there. He said, what you're about to see is the next greatest collaboration since Alfred Hitchcock and Bernard Herrmann. And of course, <laughs> at that moment, Jonathan and I looked at each other like, whoa like we were like that was like the pinnacle compliment that we could ever have received one of the neat things that donald did well there was two really incredible things that he did make that three because obviously the way he introduced the film the second thing was he invited me to uh go see a concert with him and and this was really really interesting it was the 1927 film napoleon carmine coppola had an orchestra in the pit and you know not it's it's a silent film but they use three screens and at the end they're like in, in tinted in red and white and blue like you know because it's the french story but i learned a lot by watching that I, be, because how do you how do you have an orchestra play for three hours without tiring it out and i was watching how carmine coppola would use the organ and so on so anyway donald spoto and i had you know big discussions about these kind of projects happen. The other uh, great thing that Donald did was he invited us over to his apartment in New York City for a private screening of Vertigo. And the he, you have to understand, it was like he was sharing with us what he considered to be the greatest film ever made. It was a, it was an, an event, you know. It, it wasn't just like showing up at his house and watching the the video. It was we had to have dinner, we had to talk, we had to have this whole thing, and then we sat down <laughs> all three of us together, and he played Vertigo, and it and it, it was literally like he was saying to us, "Behold, this is the greatest work of art <laughs> ever made." He just loved it. We loved Vertigo long before we saw it with him, but to see it with him made it very, very special.